Well, if anybody's ever put a roof on a, a beachside shack, you'll recognise this roof shape. Uh, relatively common around the world, and uh, this is how we uh, uh, model the roof so that we can apply our roof sheets to it. Start with a new roof, and a construct roof, track outline, and our building is going to be 50 feet long and 30 foot wide. Close square, finish. Uh, the roof pitch will be 6 in 12 and the overhang will be zero as we're dealing with a re-roof situation and uh, we're using roof measurements. We hit OK and uh, let the software construct the roof. Now what we have to do is create a 212 pitch um, porch area in effect. So we do that using the uh, track plane command which is this one and uh, from our origin we'll go uh, right the same distance, 50 feet and uh, then we'll go up the uh, width of the porch, 6 feet and uh, then close square and then finish and it wants to know the pitch and the eave height will ensure that the eave height is the same as the rest of the roof we hit OK and then it prompts for a pitching line and the pitching line will be not that one not that one but that one and the reason that was it because it was the last line that went in we don't want to save it just now uh, we then use a, a function uh, called modify roof more cut line to a plane and uh, we want to insert at a plane so we want to trim this plane where that line intersects with it so a point is inserted and we do that the same for the other end this plane intersects with that line and a point is inserted in Z look at the isometric view we'll have a better uh, idea of what we've got and uh, we now have to modify this geometry to suit what we're doing the uh, first thing we have to do is delete all our planes that are affected which is this one and this one and this one now we use our smart lines function to trim to a point I'm going to trim this line to the point that's just there Oops, missed it now we want to trim this end of that line to that point in, whoops, to there. And uh, now we need to draw new lines free, so we go from there to there to there. Middle button snapping of course, snap there and there and there. That means these other lines are now redundant, so we delete those and we delete that one and that one and using our change line type function we want to make those a hip line so that will be a hip, that will be a hip and that one and that one are also hips and now we use our smart lines insert plane function to reinsert the roof planes and it's simply a matter of tracking around the perimeter of the lines which it finds automatically around there, yes, and around there. Okay, there's our roof. That didn't take long. Now if we go to the um, plan view and we do one of our standard checks and that is to say show pitch, so we go tools, show pitch, we see that this in fact has now gone in at 8.7 in 12. Well the architect specified 612 so that's got to be changed so we turn that off and we go to modify roof change pitch select this roof plane make that 612 and hit OK and it pitches from that line there and it's reconstructed there it is well that's how we do that one and that wasn't too bad was it practice that we look forward to seeing you at our next tutorial